please state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Oh, except you, Toma. You must be... new here. <laughs> Excuse me? Please provide the information requested, and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. Do we gonna give problems for the look? I guess we're gonna be honest. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We cannot approve entry for purely personal reasons. So, unless you have a valid reason for visiting in accordance with the rules... Um... Uh, we... Uh... My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... To leave? Here are their entry papers. For your kind perusal. Huh? What? Ugh, take your time. No rush or anything. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. I see. Okay. Your papers are all in order. Welcome to Rito. <sighs> so, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Sheesh! So it is super strict, just like everyone says. Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku decree in force. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Now, let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, the Kanjo Commission. The Kanjo Commission? Yes, one branch of the Tri Commission of Inazuma, responsible for growing and managing the nation's wealth. Um, you really haven't heard of it before? I guess maybe in some books or something. <laughs> Just want to take a look because... I thought this was the sorry. I need to think about it. Love her freedom. Which one should I choose? Hello. You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency, both of you? Both? Yes, please. Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Say what? Two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. I know it wasn't so much questioning your math as... Ugh. Well, goodbye, Paimon. <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to... 400,000 more a total. For one person or for both? <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? That's not how you haggle! By all means, bargain the price down, but... Alright then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. <laughs> much obliged. I can always see the Twitter. 
sipping over this guy and the guy is hating him what she went from two million down to 600 there's something seriously wrong with people's sense of finance around here you mean i bet the johnny is gonna feel you don't know even happy about this or not or child <laughs> it's not as mind-boggling as you think. Processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency... Then they'll milk them for all their worth! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. Huh. Sounds like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you're outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Huh. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Uh-huh. And is that likely? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Well, that's not easy. Wow, the Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought. <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it can be done. However, before we get there, connections come at a high price, you understand? Okay, how much? Uh, not you too. <laughs> No, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle. So you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. Okay, what's the who are we gonna kill? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, never mind. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. The head of the association is called Carisio, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk to him. I'll wait for you here. I see you've had the bean. Huh? Hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. The Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth, I suppose. Ah, good. That's a relief. You need to be careful. Or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. We heard the association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes. Left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. The Sakoku Decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sokoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity, 
But in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is... Yes. Those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Oh, of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on Rito, isn't it? That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Uh, what? Crystal Marrow? What's that? Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for crystal marrow drove the price higher and higher. Uh-oh. Now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. It's a vicious cycle, the consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... <laughs> okay, this is kind of weird. I don't know where they want crystal that, I don't know, they can mine or somewhere? I mean... We've tried communicating with the Commission directly, but this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. <sighs> Fontaine, my dear homeland, I miss you an awful lot at the moment. Fontaine? Sounds awful. They're really bleeding them dry. What do you think we should do? Fontaine, is that the one of the region? He's up to see many months later, all years. Mm. But Chris is the head of the association, and even he hasn't had any luck. Not to mention, we're outlanders too. <sighs> right, and besides, I think this may well be the fate they've ordained for us. We could try tackling the problem by going to the other party involved. Uh, that vendor... I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Hmm. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association, and you're new to Rito, he may just let his guard down. If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Got it! We're on the case! Okay. Oh, well. I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? Is this PM? Wait, no, not P. Yes, PM. I'm the fix. Are hey, we gonna take time, I think? So, what do you need with me? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Trade secret, got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? This guy's got a bad attitude. Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Karisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable, not by a single mora. Get out of here, go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place. 
and they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Good idea. Let's check back in with him. So this is the crystal thing? Mm hmm? That was quick. You resolved it already? Um, actually, we're having a little trouble. Oh? Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by, but he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. They're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? So he's an outlander too? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inizuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them! <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. I guess so. Or we can simply just... <laughs> okay. So far it was first place, go here, go here. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Why do I feel like we're gonna, with this option, we pretend we are Balbatos or something? Huh? Where is this coming from? Mondstadt? You were talking about M Mondstadt. Oh. Um. Oh, this already. I have no idea he's gonna affect what the action is gonna have, so I just gonna give him this. Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Ah, oh, my hometown. The home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working! <sighs> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> so trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? I know what you're up to. Plus, I can already see this turn into a meme or something because of that. Close your eyes on... Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! You mean... the sound of the ocean? Leah Harbor. I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves, the calls of the merchants. Wait, did we just mix Leah and Mansha together? Xiao Lanterns. <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. 
You don't have your eyes closed. Really act of imagination. Either that, or he really does miss Liyue Harbor. <sighs> Liyue, Liyue. Ah, it could have been nice if we. I think I still have some balloons. Yeah, I have. I think I'm gonna give him one of the stones. Hmm. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. You mean the folks from the International Trade Association? And I suppose they are far from home, just like me. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. Wait, what? Let me guess. For three? All right. I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. I can't show my face there. Uh, come on, you scaredy cat. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right. So come on, get it off your chest. What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru, Keijiro and his companions. They oh. start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. Evidence? Hmm. You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? And do what? Beat him to death and surrender? Keijiro! It's him! The one in Harman? After him! Should I close? Too close! Come on, come on! Up a little. Are you fucking me? That was close. Like, this is not how you do a stealth mission. You don't just drop the character in the middle of sight. Ah, Ryoko, how's business? <laughs> All the better thanks to your generous patronage. Good. Thankfully, I earn plenty these days. Oh, but of course. Tax collection is difficult work. Too close! That's too close! Don't notice this for sure! He's getting oh further and further away! Let's catch up a little! 
Now, who else is behind on payments? That sound. Shh, quiet. Don't let him find us. Must be hearing things. Ah, drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. <laughs> what did you freeze? What could he be doing at a place like this? It looks like he buried something over there, didn't it? Why don't we take a look? Let me take a look here. Aha, yes. This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. Great. Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to you here, then. Huh? You aren't gonna come with us? I... I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. Huh. Poor Werner is a pretty awkward guy, huh? Well, I guess we done. Although, why do you want to pay like a book of what I see? He like 